I forgot he's in that as well as Rivals. That's crazy. So isn't everything. One, got Rano from yeah, Rivals? Yeah, you're not wrong at all. So we got Raptor and we got Blazing Pasta right here. Uh, Blazing Pasta, not that uh, like easy to tell that he was going to go Peach. This is his character. He's shown this character off. And like this character is so, so oppressive and so good. Like the RNG with the turnips is actually, I, I feel it's definitely improved. As he stitches and bombs like, a lot more than I ever have in this game, I feel like. And Yoshi, it's just that character, like we said before, like, it's that character that no one, like, like, everyone would expect to be up there for a minute and then hop down, but Yoshi's staying right where he is. That gigantic head of his. Yeah, huge dome, of course, has that double jump if he wants to tank a hit and then retaliate immediately after, but, of course, you know, against a character like Peach, he needs to catch, oh my god, wow, I think we can go for the other match, thing. just try to do a, a check real quick. But Raptor, I mean, look at that, guess that damage, guess that conversion, has always been Phenomenal with Yoshi, right? Even in Smash 4, you're thinking, oh, who are, who are the best Yoshis? People will always tell you immediately, yo, if you need to put Raptor on that list, it ain't a good list. Yeah, he's, he shows off Yoshi, and it shows off Yoshi to the best of his abilities, and God dang, is the best of his abilities pretty damn good. Like, this, Raptor is absolutely absurd, and you can see it right now. Really wow. aggressive, but getting that counter off his Blazing Pasta, both at almost the same percent right here. Very even game so far. Right now, Peach is floating in the air. Trying to find something currently. And right there, the dash attack not going to kill just yet, but sending uh, Raptor far off into the corner a little bit. Trying to find something right here. Both characters both just trading blows left and right. Oh my goodness. And you can see Raptor's throwing out those back airs after back air after back air. Gets to fade back with it, which makes it very difficult for Peach. Do anything out of shield that's quick enough to hit Yoshi. And on top of that, that move kills. Absolutely, yeah. Right now, like, you also got to think, like, that head spike that comes down, mm -hmm. that can immediately confirm at this percent into an up air from Yoshi. That will kill. Absolutely. That dash attack kills. Yeah, that's the thing, right? Peach dash attack, a KO move. I mean, it killed in Smash 4 as well, but at a little later percent. So now this time around, got reduced a little bit. And it's one of Peach's best ground options in general. You're trying to catch someone moving on the floor. You throw that dash attack, it comes out quick, and it sets them up in the air so you can start getting your chain started. You want to juggle with up airs, you got that. You want to hunt him down, him with that forward air, you got that too. The world becomes her oyster the moment she lands that attack. And I think this is a winner semis match. Winner of this match is guaranteed to go to top 64 tomorrow. It just depends if they win, winner's side or loser's side. Mm-hmm. Right, we go again, trying to hold it down. Nair coming out from Raptor, gonna go out there with the forward air, and usually that's pretty wow. hard to avoid. But Peach is one of those characters who has the ability to kind of wait her time out, right? Oh, I don't want to go to the ledge quite yet. I'm not going to. I'll just float away. And it forces Raptor to have to go back to the stage because he can't stall as long as Peach can off the stage. Absolutely, and right now. Oh, getting a lot of pummels, but not able to really get a throw off in time. What's Blade Impossible going to do here? Covering low, Raptor, back throw. Not going to kill just yet. Again, trying to get an egg and trying to hit him with the head. Back air, no dash attack, neutral out of shield. Finally. Do it. Yeah, it took him a while to confirm that KO. We've seen him go for back after back after back air, but Blazing Pasta has just not taken the bait. But, you know, I'm looking for Blazing Pasta to go ahead and take this stock fairly soon as well. Has 103 racked up, you know, a fair towards the sides of the stage. Will definitely lead to a KO. Otherwise, might need a little bit more to get the conversion or maybe an up smash lead on the spot dodge. But Rap doing an immaculate job of bringing it back. Absolutely. Blazing Pasta in a high, a high percentage very quickly right now. And high in the air. Got to land quickly. Does get the back air. Sending Raptor off stage. Raptor saving the double jump. Getting the air. Not able to get the up air though. Oh, and the booty. Stuffing out the forward air, I believe, from Raptor. Blazing Pasta still trying to get this edge guard scenario. But that's one of the things Yoshi can do uh, kind of to fight his way out of the punish game. To throw those eggs while trying to recover and force you to do something like that, right? Like, it was a committal option. I don't know why you necessarily went for the uh, the Toad, probably expecting him to be a little bit closer yep. to the edge. Just kind of kill him that way. But, I mean, at this point, brought it all the way back. 174%. That is a very healthy stop. This match is super even right now. Both characters just back and forth with each other. No one character really, like, taking, taking out the other. No one character really standing out right now. Oh my, that's gonna just do it. You wanna tell me why I wanted Peach's best move is to start using her butt? You know, I couldn't tell you, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like one of those things where it's like, hey, they want it to be so it's now, but oh wow, I think the down tilt there maybe and the traded. Oh, that was that yeah. that shield is so. You're looking close. bad, and this also means if I'm Raptor, yo, down B might be in my near future, man. Yep. And especially I know a setup. Roll away from it. That's kind of cheesy. Is that sometimes they'll go for a grab 
uh, intentionally wait for the grab release and then do down B immediately after. Shield basically back up and play from Pasta now. Oh, couldn't quite space that one, but another Peach Bomber gonna go ahead and set the snare. Two now! Resetting. We're gonna see a third. Nope. Back air. Oh! Trying to go read it with an up smash there to no avail. Another oh, Yoshi goodness. neutral air doing a really good job. Oh! And Raptor getting that first game on Blazing Pasta. 1 0 right now. That's a very strong punish, right? I mean, did the Peach Bomber uh, pretty high in the air, maybe to try and mix up a high recovery, or maybe even try to get the hit. But it just, it, it's pretty laggy, right? Like, when you land on the ground, if there's not too much recovery, you're able to kind of like move out. But in a scenario like this, he like had to do like an air dodge immediately, maybe. And he might have been able to get out of this. There's the just, bomber right there uh, and just up yeah, smash. It was still, I believe, in and lag there. I mean, even air dodge wouldn't come out quick enough in a scenario nah, like that. It would not. He just, didn't quite mix up the landing in a way that was beneficial. But Blazing Pasta gonna go ahead and try again in game two. I mean, that was, you know, one of the closer matches we've seen today, right? Like, definitely a came down to the wire. And I feel like he kind of gave it to Raptor in a sense because he gave him an opportunity for a hard punish. I don't think, you know, a, a lot of other options may have killed or been as guaranteed in that scenario. But the fact he just whiffed a move in front of him and said, hey, free up smash. Yeah, absolutely. And right now, like, I don't know even what to say to change oh that. Wow. Maybe just don't get hit by those up airs, but like both characters, again, like we said, like they were trading back and forth. Like there's nothing to really improve on. Both characters were just very even with each other. And right now, Blazing Pasta already at a dangerously high percent so early on, barely 30 seconds into this game. Yeah, and I have to say, Raptor has done a good. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. yeah. That's Every Yoshi and their mom goes nope. back. And that's Perfect. what they were reading the roll get up and getting it the up smash for it. Oh, right, if I'm Raptor and you know I'm playing around Blazing Pots here, I'm getting some damage. I mean, right now, Raptor getting the better end. We saw that amazing juggle uh, with the up air string before in the first stock. Blazing Pasta hasn't really had much of an opportunity to get a huge punish started, right? Look, we've seen some throw conversions like that one, down throw into either Nair or back air. But in terms of like down tilt into conversions like that, he hasn't really been able to get much. The one time he was really able to land down tilt, he only got, I believe, a trade even. Yeah, not really going for like the more of the peach combos than it is just like with uh, like, not even whiffing moves, just throwing out the moves and like it's connecting, but he's not getting as much damage as he possibly could with them. And there's an even another scenario where Blazing Pasta is dissuaded from using some of her uh, more common options, right? Like he went for a float cancel down air, uh, or not even float cancel, just float down air onto Raptor Shield, instant Nair out of Shield from Raptor. Tried to do it again, but only did two hits of the falling Nair and backed off. And we saw Raptor instantly again go for the Nair, then the second one didn't hit, but now Blazing Pasta is like, okay, I know what he's gonna do in this scenario. Oh, you gotta roll, you gotta roll. You can't just stand there. Whether you stand or shield, you can't do that. You gotta get out of there. Only other options to parry, man, because you're playing with fire. But sometimes I, I've you know, yet to see a single player parry that. It's scary. You know, it, it's scary, and of course, like you just sometimes you just feel better off taking the hit. You know what I mean? Because like, all right, I don't want my shield broken. I'll just take the hit. Yep. Sometimes you just recognize it too late. But Raptor once again on and dishing out the oppression, blazing pasta trying to get the hits, and he does have the stage positioning here to make that happen. Yeah, kind of with a little comeback right now. He's got a lot of damage early on at 1.3 right now, but look at this right there. There you go, that down tilt with the up air, sending him at 101. The blaze possible pretty much bring this back to close to even. And you can see the kind of space that Raptor's trying to occupy here uh, with these fadebacks in his movement. So, if Blazing Pasta wants to take the risk, he can fade forward with a forward air and try to land uh, kind of overshoot it in the space that he thinks Raptor's gonna be in and find the KO like that. He's taking his time here. And there he goes again. Fades in with the back air and then fades out once oh. again. He's making it kind of clear what he wants to do here. Once again, trying to go deep, but is unable to get the conversion. Shield avoiding the Peach Bomber right there. And that was really good spacing from Raptor right there. He knows he wasn't even the one that needed to rush in. He could just wait for a simple punish and a bad option and take the stock right there. And that's exactly what happened. Coming down with the down oh air into the up air right there. 39% quick on play pass at 45 now. But Raptor at 160. Close, but not dead just yet. This isn't the first time we've seen this man. He's been living to absurd percents. I mean, right there, he probably got him around like 170 something. Like, that's OD. Like, Sure, uh, you know, it can be difficult to find KO options at times, but Blazing Pasta has just been unable to really call out the jumps. That's another thing you need to be strong at 
as a Peach player, right, you need to call out when your opponent's going to jump and either stuff it with forward air or respond with an up smash to really dissuade them from doing that. He hasn't really been able to find those kind of big, juicy hits. He's been nickel and diming, and it's been paying off a little bit, but he hasn't been able to really pull ahead. No, not at all. But right now, actually, Blazing Pasta is doing a decent job of the stage control right now. I like how he does throw out the Toad, the counter, a little bit because he knows that Yoshi's going to go for those eggs. I think that's a really good option. Right now, both characters kind of just trading stage control back and forth. Oh. That, I thought he was going to go for that spike there. Yeah, luckily for Blazing Pasta, no. Oh, this is like the Trap Remix part of the song. Oh, yes. Man. Wait, we go down throw. Wait. Here. Oh, the I think neutral. He wanted a defensive option, but Raptor connecting the KO. But I actually love what, what, what Blazing Pasta went for there. Um, he went for the down throw, was like, I hope you air dodge, and then he would have been able to like respond with either a fourth smash or an up smash and like win the game that way. But Raptor was like, you know what, I'm actually going to do an offensive option. I bet you didn't expect that coming. And you're right, he didn't. All right, so here we go. Guess the throw. What's your defensive option? Oh, you're not going to do it. And boom. Okay, bye. Woo! The gigantic forehead. The head, not even oh, forehead. Dude. Ridiculous. Whole head. Puts Rihanna to shame. To shame. That dome is ridiculous. Uh, that's but. Okay. Shout out to Rihanna, though. Yeah. But right. as we get going with our next match, we do got a couple more events that are going on. So, Flambo. Oh, yeah. Hit, hit me here. So, we have this Bums Birthday Bash. That's going to be March 30th. $2,000 in pop bonuses. How much? $2,000. How many zeros is that? That will be a firm three zeros. Four if you want to count in, like, the tens places. That's, but, like, uh, a lot of zeros. I'm just saying, man, like, you should four if comes to 10th place. Well, I mean, like, like, like if you count like each individual like digit <laughs> yeah. is, is what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Like the ones, the tens, yeah. the hundreds, the thousands. You got four spots. Um, but Bum, you know, of course, was one of the best DKs to ever do it in Melee, right? You yeah. can go to, uh, maybe I'm thinking of Bam. I might be confused. I don't know. I think it was Bum. Uh, if you go to, to YouTube and type in like a Bum combo video, you'll find it. Man, go ahead and throw on a birthday bash. It's going to be sick. Y'all show that up. entire link. You got to type in that entire link. Bum the birthday bash bum, 2019. Bum dash S dash birthday dash bass dash 2019 dash four dash super dash smash dash bros dash ultimate. <gasps> That's a mouthful. But do you know what else in the knife? A mouthful. Knifeu Wars. The Trek to Prime Saga. Trek to Prime Saga, man. And that's what I love about Nairo, right? Nairo and I think Panda Global at some point too. And I know even in New England we did this. I love that people kind of create these events for uh, kind of like the lesser known people slash the underdogs or just people who just may not even have the affluence to afford stuff like this have a shot to go out and show what they're all about. Yeah, and do you know what happens if you win this? You get a free trip to 2GG's Prime Saga, which is this event right here like we talked about before. But go sign up for those Nairo, that Nairo Ultimate Knife Rewards right there. On his, He's going to be streaming on his channel on a Friday. And then you, again, yeah, if you win, you get this trip to Prime Saga, and there's also payouts for winners losers, so that's big as well. But guys, I'm Drex. This is Flambo. We're still here live. We're commentating Collision 2019, and we still we we've been here talking in your ear for like two hours, and I apologize yeah, for that. No. <laughs> but like, we still have more matches to come here on the House of 1000 stream. An incredible stream run by some incredible, incredible people. Helper, Devin, Dill. Oh, just there. Do you know what? That's Prime. He's regretting every decision right now. <laughs> what, what do I get off to? <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, it, it should be soon for us. I think we'll probably have one more set likely 